Edward Norton was the guest of honor at the Cannes party celebrating the work of FilmAid, the non-profit charity that uses the power of film to help people around the world. At the plush Eden Rock at the Hotel du Chap in Antibes, a short distance along the French Riviera from Cannes, the Hollywood star paid tribute to the work done by the charity at a party put on by the festival sponsors, Chivas Regal. FilmAid is a non-profit organization that uses the power of film and media to transcend language and literacy bringing life-saving information, psychological relief, and much-needed hope to refugees and other communities in need. Most of the experiences that I've had in the, in the realm of what I would call like mission-driven work, um, whether related to my creative work or not, I've been drawn into them because it was an authentic adventure. It was an authentic, um, uh, my world opened up more. I met incredibly inspiring people. I got to go places that I'd never been. On how his film career impacts on his social activism, Norton explained that he was now happy to wait for the right movie projects, leaving him time for other endeavors. I think I passed through a period where I wanted to work all the time. You know, I was very ambitious and you're exci excited to be working at all, and so you kind of don't want to do anything else. And I think over time, like, I've gotten to a point where I just, I, I, I'm willing to wait a little longer for sort of either my own creative inspiration to write and make something or for something special to come along. Asked whether he had any regrets on not joining the hugely successful Avengers superhero film franchise, Norton said he was reluctant to devote that much time to one project. I, I wasn't willing to give that much of my life to it as much as I admire and like it all and I'm, I'm really glad to have done my one little bit. But it's great, they're, they're, it's, you know, so many good people have played Hulk over the years. Like, I don't, I don't actually think there's anybody bad who's played Hulk. So, and Mark Ruffalo is a really good friend of mine, so it's, it's all, there's nothing but fun in all of that for me. The first Avengers movie went on to burst into Hollywood's record books with a massive $203 million in ticket sales over its opening weekend in US and Canadian theaters in 2012.